Welcome to the Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking, and we are delighted that you are joining us. And our topic for this evening is part two of breaking down our favorite scriptures. And as we talk about our favorite scriptures, we're going to be talking to Dummy today about her favorite scriptures. And of course, we know that sometimes those are our favorite scriptures too. <laughs> and we also, like I said last uh, week, that I'm sure she has more than two. But these are the two that she selected, and maybe we can look at some of the other ones as we move on in the conversation. But remember, a lot of the uh, scriptures that are your favorite, that is something that you're standing on, believing God for, a lot of them with conditions. You don't think they're just going to have them. You don't participate. So with that said, Dovey, let's talk. Amen. <laughs> What's your favorite, some of your favorite? Let's talk about some of them before you get to the two main ones. Well, one of one that is really uh, that I love is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens oh, that's me. An excellent word. Because I never had strength before I knew Christ. Mm -hmm. I was such an intimidated person mm -hmm. that I didn't even know I could have strength. I didn't mm -hmm. even really have a voice. Mm -hmm. And then uh, another one is I have wisdom, knowledge, courage, understanding, and discernment in the name of Jesus. You know, God says, if you lack wisdom, ask. Right, It'll right. be given yeah. to you. Because I always thought I was stupid. Because that's what was was sure. always said. Mm -hmm. So these scriptures stood out to me because I, I was smart, really. Uh, right, yeah. <laughs> you know, and a lot of my scriptures are um, about you know uh, overcoming everything because mm -hmm. there was so much to overcome and everything. And I didn't realize that all of those certain ones stood out to me. Sure, it's amazing how that is. Mm -hmm. And um, look, when they stand out like that to you, I remember. Mm -hmm. Years ago, every time I would go and like if be at the conference, you purchase CDs or books. Mm -hmm. And I'd always be drawn to these warfare. <laughs> Deliverance. I said, why can't I get into the glory? <laughs> so you, when you are, you're drawn. God, the Holy yes. Spirit draws you just like you were saying. He draws you. And you. So there are certain things that are kind of compatible yes exactly because you are a woman of warfare okay yeah, and you yeah. knew who you were but even before but i didn't always <laughs> start there you know i wanted to get to the glory <laughs> i started fighting in the name of jesus <laughs> there's only one fight he said we we're supposed to fight and that's a good fight of faith yeah. but i was learning a lot about warfare because of course you know so many things you know as we all know we have to overcome yeah, yeah. You know, to get into uh, places where God has purposed for us to, you know, experience Him. Mm -hmm. You know, definitely. So that's awesome. Yeah, I knew that I couldn't help anybody until I found out who I was, and I didn't couldn't find out who I was until I got into the Scripture and realized I was somebody. That you was fearfully and wonderfully made. Yeah. yeah. That you was the apple of His eye. Yeah, and I didn't know that either. You didn't know that either. I didn't know that either. No, I didn't know that either. Wow. But you know. I mean, his word tells us who we are. Just like we talked about last time, mm -hmm. Jeremiah 29, 11. Yeah. I never knew there was a purpose and plan for my right. life. Yeah. I never did. I just I just went from day to day trying to get through that day. Yeah, just trying right. to get over just that. trying to get through. I remember coming home a lot of times after work. I said, you know what? Something wrong with this picture. Go to work. Get up. Get up. Go to work. Get up. Get up. Go to work. Wait for the weekends and party on the weekends. Go back to work on Monday. It's just like a repetitive cycle over mm -hmm. and over and over. Yeah. No purpose, no reason, no rhyme to your existence, to your living, to yeah. your very life. And yeah. it's like, what is this about? You just go to work, get up, go home, eat, and take a shower, go to bed, get up, get up, get up, go home. And if you're out in the systems of the world at that point, I was waiting for the weekend. Party! <laughs> yeah, right. You I know. think we're all, yeah, all you know. doing that at one time or another. Yeah. And then yeah. the Monday the comes and then yeah. the weekend. Then the Monday comes and back again, yeah. back to your routine and whatever. And isn't it something how after a while you feel like a drawing? Like there's got to be more yeah, than this. Exactly. Got to be more than this. Like but you that's get what tired I was of it. And that's what I was actually saying. I yeah. knew that there had to be more. I mm -hmm. knew there had to be more to life than what I was experiencing. Right. And uh, I guess we don't get to that until we get to Christ. Right. And this, especially if you're dealing with a lot of different spirits, say, as like. Um, depression and things like that, they can kind of take over before you even realize that you have a purpose and plan. Oh, yeah, but yeah. thank you, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> he pulls us out of that. Matching us out. Yeah, yeah out that pit. That old oppression, depression, suppression. Oh, mm. God. And it's, it's like, how do you get out of this? Because sometimes that's all people know. They don't know any other thing or yeah. any other. Because if you're in a dark place, you can't see. 
You're so right, Pastor Mary. You know, until yes. the light comes on. Yes. You know, and just need a flick of light. You know, it, you go yeah. into a real dark room, mm -hmm. you put the match, mm -hmm. That's good. Take it in. Yeah. Chills that light, yeah. that darkness. It spells I mean. the darkness. Amen. You know, mm -hmm. so all you need is just ending, you know, and I believe as we look back at, at our own lives personally, mm -hmm. when it was out there, God was always using something, someone, somebody, some situation, some circumstances to get to us. A little here, a little there, yep. a little seed there, a little water there, a little this or that. And then here comes God. Increase, increase, mm -hmm. increase. Until the light goes on. I like or until we get to the point where we're so desperate, like, well, because the light will go on after we get so desperate to say, God, Jesus, please. I need you. I got to have it. I can't yeah. take this no more. That's right. I like how you always say that God is wooing and pursuing us. Yes, always, yeah. And for somebody that never knew what love was, right? you know, and to for God to be doing that. And then when you really yes. re find realization comes to you when it hits you in your spirit that I am loved. There is somebody that's wooing me and pursuing me and, yeah. and cares who I am and all like that, yeah, you know, yeah, so... Yeah, and uh, if that's the case, you know, when God is, you know, wooing and pursuing and beckoning us to come close and draw an eye. You know, those who draw an eye unto God, I will draw an eye unto you. Amen. So that's another conditional promise. Yes. Right? Draw an eye unto me, and I will draw an eye unto you. God didn't say, I'm going to draw an eye unto you. You draw an eye unto me. Yes, ma'am. And I will draw an eye unto you. So that's why I seek me his kingdom, his righteousness first. Yes. yes. Draw an eye unto me. Surrender. Yes. Present your body as a living sacrifice. Yes. Yield. Delight yourself in. Yes. All these uh, action words. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a part of what we have to do in mm -hmm. faith mm -hmm. until we begin to really experience the presence, mm -hmm. the power, all the goop and all the stuff that we've been holding on to, hanging in on, the fear, the anxiety, the worry, the cares, the concerns, all these things that just bombarded our minds, try to just make yeah. us go crazy, lose our thought process, and don't even know which way is up or which way to go. And then God frees us and gives us that peace that surpasses all understanding. All understanding. Yeah. All understanding. So with that yeah. said, we're going to take a quick break and we shall return. Join us every Tuesday at 5 p.m. for Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. We're going to be speaking on different topics because we know that Satan comes to steal, rob, and destroy. And the Word comes to heal, deliver, free, bless, prosper, all these great and awesome, wonderful things that we should be experiencing and we should have now because we are seated in heavenly places. And when we begin to receive it by faith, and then we know that Satan's what? Satan's best? best just not good, good enough. enough. Welcome back to Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. And we're going to continue with Debbie with her two favorite scriptures. And we're going to be breaking it down and talking about it, Debbie. Which ones did you select? Like we already know, we a whole <laughs> lot of them, which is good. And you were right when you said before, it's hard to to pick certain ones out. But there was, there is two scriptures and they fall on the same line of each other because it talks about overcoming. And 1 John 5, 4 says, whoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith, mm. our faith. And if you, and, and to break it down a little bit, whoever is of God, whoever believes in God, we're believers. And what do believers do? They overcome the world. Mm. And how do we overcome the world? By our faith. Right. And that's how that's God good. broke it down to me. Right. He broke it down to me like that. I was like, okay, let me put this backwards. Oh that's my gosh, really Lord good. Jesus. Yeah. And he broke that down to me. He says, you are of me. Mm -hmm. I formed you before the world. I had plans for you before right. the world. I mean, it's how he was talking mm -hmm. to me. Because at one time I didn't, I said, Lord, I, how do I increase my faith? How do, how do I do this? And how do I know that I have faith? Mm -hmm. And he gave me that scripture. He said, you are of me. You have overcome everything and you will overcome everything by your faith. Build up your faith. faith. Seek me. 
and my righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. It's another scripture. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> it's another scripture. And that scripture came to me when I started walking with the Lord and just learning everything. But my husband didn't and my family didn't. And, and I just felt, I, I, how can I do this? You know, Lord, how do I do this? You know, and, and that's when he sort of minister, ministering to me and say, you did the first thing. You believe in me. You're mine. Now you can overcome everything as long as you stay in me and know that your faith, through your faith, mm. you're, I'm going to give you victory. You know what he said? I've already, I've already got the outcome. You just got to believe me. Amen. And wow. how do I believe him? Yeah. Through my faith. Amen. I believed in that he's saving me. He saved me and gives me eternal life. Amen. So why can't I believe him for the victory that's beyond yes. the situation? Yes. Right. Well, it's a victory is our faith. <laughs> exactly. It's, that's, that's very simplistic, but very, very, uh, very real. And a lot of people don't understand. That's why he said faith is what pleases him. Yes. Faith is not mm -hmm. our prayer life. Not, not, that, not that that's not important because it is. It you is. got to communicate yes. with the Lord. Yes. But in faith, in faith, you want to pray. You want to communicate. Yes. In yes. faith, you want to you want to fellowship and, and yes. you can be in the body of Christ and, and, and fellowship and, and, and worship and glorify God corporately mm -hmm. as well as mm -hmm. individually. Mm -hmm. Because you just have a hunger and a thirst. And you just want, and, and it's like a hunger and a thirst that you can never fill. Yep. Because it's endless. That's right. Yep, yep. Yeah. You get a little bit of it and it's like, oh, oh, oh. And it, it's one more. Yeah. You just keep eating it and eating and eating and eating it. And, and the more you eat, eat it, the more you get filled up. And the Lord showed me one time, he said, I want you to stop. And I was like, what did I do? He said, just stop, my daughter. Watch. And I sat there and he said, look where you've come. And I said, what? He says, you are now going ahead and doing things without fear. Wow. And so I was like, oh my gosh, mm. I don't do that yeah. no more. I do this now. I overcame. Yeah. And that's what the scripture says, is to overcome. overcome. And it wasn't that hard. I just had to believe, use my faith believe. and believe. Keep, what, keep focused. Yeah. yeah. Focus on him. That's right. Amen. Well, go ahead. Keep it going, girl. <laughs> <laughs> She's chewing it all up. She's going to open up. I like it. <laughs> so when you focus, you what? You keep your eyes on God and nothing mm -hmm. else. Let okay. everything else fall to you the said wayside. You the natural and... eyes? No. Okay. No. You Break can... it down. Because we're, we're going to see things. Things are going to fly at us or whatever mm -hmm. like that. But that doesn't mean we can't still focus on the Lord. Know where our, that He is. It's kind of like the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like, as long as we focus on him, we're not going to fall. Like, we're not going to go astray. We're not going to go to the left or the right. We're not going to waver to our foot. Mm -hmm. We're going to be like that that tree planted by living waters. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that strength and that power, just like a palm tree, no matter what the storm brings, it still comes back. Right. And that's the focus that we have when we're focused on God. Nothing is going to keep us, Amen. you know, from mm -hmm. staying the course. Yep. My second one is John 16, 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. Mm. Oh, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Oh, yes. Now this scripture jumped out at me when I got cancer. And the Lord said to me, he said, I told you things was going to happen. I told you, situa situations, circumstances, and things are going to happen. But have my peace. I give to you peace. My le I leave to you. And rest in me, because this too is going to pass. Do you have faith, Dovey? I went through a year and a half of surgeries and, and overcoming. He said, that's right. Whoever is of me overcomes the world. To that word. Yes. It's like somebody giving you a promise yes. and you you hold on to that promise knowing that yes. that's going to be your uh, rescue, your answer, your yes. solution. Even when my eyes didn't see it, right. but my faith did. Sure. Oh, wow. Faith. Yes. Yeah. Eyes of faith. That's a good term. Eyes of faith. <laughs> that is eyes okay. faith. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Eyes of faith. Go ahead, well, yeah. praise the Lord. With that said, uh, it's just, again, uh, the promises that are yay and amen. And if you have a promise that you're standing and believing and trusting God to place it on your heart and something that's keeping you motivated, keeping you in the race, keeping you steadfast, keeping you unmovable, keeping you in a place to have faith that God has got it. He's got your back, as they always mm -hmm. sound like that little saying. Yeah, got your back. 
He got you. He got you in the palm of his hands. He yes. said nothing and no one will pluck you up and I'll pluck you out. So as you continue just to say, God, I thank you. You say, I thank you, Lord, that I'm the apple of your eye. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. You dealing with it, self-esteem, low self-esteem or depression. You overcome. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We overcome by our faith. We keep seeking the kingdom mm -hmm. of God. Amen. Oh, we got so many promises that we can yes. just say, God, you said, and I'm trusting that it's going to manifest. I ain't looking at what it is I'm looking at and calling forth what's not. And yes. it will be in Jesus name. So with that said, I leave you with this. Just trust God and know, lean not to your own understanding, but acknowledge him in all your ways and he will bring it to pass. God bless you and we hope to see you next week.